This year, incredibly, the Houston Rockets have the number one pick again and will pair Akeem Olajuwon with Ralph Sampson. He wants the alley-oop. He's already posted up. Goes right side Chambers. Oh, Olajuwon. Olajuwon now facing the basket. Look at that move. Is that pretty? That was beautiful. There's a matchup they like. Olajuwon trying to get Donaldson up. Takes it to the hole. The Rockets. Hakeem Olajuwon. Oh. Right What's going on, you? And you back there, all of you too, it's the Piano Guy. And I'm extremely excited and very pleased to bring to you this special tribute and sneaker review for number 34 from the University of Houston. He stands seven feet tall. He was drafted in 1984 by the Houston Rockets. And in his rookie season, he averaged 20.6 points per game. His career averages is 21.8 points per game and 3.1 block shots per game. He is the only one in the history of the NBA to be the MVP, the Defensive Player of the Year, and the Finals MVP all in the same season. He is the two-time NBA champion. He is the two-time Defensive Player of the Year and the two-time Finals MVP. He is the Hall of Famer, a.k.a. Little Moses, a.k.a. The Dream. Give it up for Hakeem, the Dream, Elijah Wong. He was a beast when he played. And I'm telling you, I'm very excited about this sneaker because this sneaker was in 1984. It was his first signature shoe. What do we have? I know you might be hating on it, but that's all right. Because as my boy Pop Pop Lewis say, we rock what we like, we cop what we like, and most of all, we stay away from the hype. And this shoe has no hype to it at all, but it is a classic silhouette and a classic sneaker. Yes, it is. The Etonic Hakeem the Dream. Here's the box. Do I have it right side up? Yes, I do. Here's the box. Booyah! The official colorway is white and red. This is a size 10 and it retails for 120 of them things. Here we go. And I'm just going to give it to you. Booyah! Yes, sir. Looky here, last year when I was looking to see if they were going to release the Dennis Rodman Nike Shaking Destructs, I also was looking to see if they were going to release these bad boys right here. And after how many years? 84, 94, 2004? Oh yeah, after 32, 33 years, here it is. Right in my hands, I am holding the Atonic Akeem the Dream, his first signature sneaker. Wow, look at that. This is a part, in my estimation, of history, man. We're talking about one of the greatest players ever to play the center position. And here it is, his first signature sneaker in the home colorway of the Houston Rockets. It's an all synthetic leather upper and it's got the branding of Etonic right there in the quarter section on the medial side, the lateral side, rather, the lateral side and the medial side of the sneaker. It is red laces, hits of yellow right there on the mustache and red yellow on the outsoles. The insole is red on the sock liner and it has the branding of Etonic. I don't know if you can see that right there on the insole. Man, hey, it's to me, it's about, I mean, Hakeem the dream. He wasn't about the hype 
Uh, later on in his career, he played in the Spalding brand sneakers. I hope they release that shoe too because if they do, I will be buying it. But hey, I'm going to do a hot or not review something I haven't done in a very substantially long time. This sneaker. Ooh, I'm going to take my finger. I'm going to touch the shoe. Is it hot or is it not? Ooh, this sneaker in my estimation and hey, just my opinion, it's hot. And I'm glad to have it because, man, this shoe to me represents so much about the game of basketball and the history of basketball. When there was so much hype and so much uh, branding and uh, big time sneaker contracts for big time players, Hakeem the Dream came along and said, you know what? I don't want people killing uh, each other for a pair of sneakers. And so I think these sneakers originally retail for about $35. And I think they were uh, in stores like Payless, Kmart, and I think like Walmart at the time. But hey, wow. A classic silhouette, a classic sneaker, no hype. We cop what we like, we rock what we like, and we just stay away from the hype. But we stay true to the collection of the sneaker game, and we stay true to the history of the game itself. And here they are, the Atonic, the first signature sneaker of Hakeem the Dream, Elijah Wan. Let's do this on feet review. Come on, let's go. Check them out everybody. Looky here. These girls go hard, man. I'm rocking them with some cut off shorts that I just actually made myself I just took my uh, <laughs> pants that I didn't like them you know really like them but I just cut them made them into shorts I, I, I took after a little wavy you know I made my own shorts so look at these girls man they clean in my estimation in my opinion I think they're classic silhouette hey when I rock these girls you ain't gonna see a lot of people walking around in them cause it ain't about the hype Yo, these girls go hard. Check them out. Hakeem, the dream, Elijah Wan. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Just rocking them kind of loose, you know. I ain't got them tied up. They feel real comfortable on feet. And if you're wondering and want to know, where are these girls true to size, all right? True to size. Walk away a little bit. True to size. Coming back at you. Yeah, just wear them true to size. They fit real comfortable. And I'm telling you, I really like them. I think they hard. I love the colorway. Red, white. Hits of yellow on them. Yes, yeah, sir. So look here. If you want to get these girls, they have them in three colorways. This home colorway, they have them in a red colorway, and they have them in a black colorway. And you can cop them and pick them up at your local finish line. I don't know if they're at all finish lines, but I got them from Finish Line and Birch Run. Yes, I did. So, hey. Yeah, let's pick it up here. Whoo, so. Hey, Hakeem the Dream, Elijah Wan. This, in my opinion, give you a little round view. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Look at, ooh, baby. These girls are clean, in my opinion. I like them. I actually really like this sneaker, and I like this Houston Rockets colorway. So, yo, if you are watching this, make sure, if you haven't already done it, that you press that subscribe button, press that thumbs up like button, and make sure you follow me, The Piano Guy, on Instagram at the underscore piano guy, and on Twitter at sneaker struggles at JMO Hollywood. Also, drop some comments below. What do you think of this shoe? And, you know, no hype. 
What do you think of the colorway? What do you think of, you know, it being a classic sneaker of Elijah Wine, his first signature sneaker from Itani? Also, if you are liking the content that I'm bringing you and you're enjoying the content that I'm bringing you, once again, I can't say it enough, make sure you press that subscribe button. This has been The Piano Guy, and as I always say, till next time. Mm-hmm.